I like best. Hey, that red and gold jacket is brilliant. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> hello, small. Hello, everyone. I've just been shopping. Do you like my new clothes? I don't believe it. I've just been looking at clothes like yours in my magazine, Ben. <laughs> your clothes are designed by the best fashion designers. They're amazing. I didn't realise you were into fashion small. Well, nothing much fits me, but it doesn't matter because I just love looking at the pictures in my magazine. Well, let's have a look then. Well, who'd have thought it? Big Cook Ben in top designer fashion. Ho -ho! <laughs> Sounds like we've got a customer. I'd better go and change out of my brand new clothes if I'm going to be cooking. Go and see who it is, Small. I'm on my way. Whoosh! Who's our customer today, Small? I'll give you a clue. She has a sketch pad and she's drawing clothes. Ooh. Oh, I know. It's Vanella, the fashion designer. You're right, Ben. Now, what can we cook for a fashion designer? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, my friend phoned to tell me about a big fashion show that was being held in the city. It all sounded very exciting, so I climbed onto my spoon and whizzed away to see for myself. When I arrived at the fashion show, I couldn't believe my eyes. There was a huge catwalk, bright lights and fashion designers with lots of different clothes on rails. One designer had clothes that he'd made from denim. There were big flared denim jeans and denim jackets with lots of rips in them. Another designer had gone completely dotty. All her clothes were spotty. <laughs> One designer had made all her clothes pink. It was then that I spotted Fenella, the fashion designer. She looked very sad. In fact, big tears were pouring from her eyes. Her clothes rail was completely empty. I asked her what the matter was, and she told me that her clothes hadn't arrived. What was she going to do? A fashion designer without fashion? I knew I had to do something to help, so I asked her if she had any material left over. Oh, yes, she said, but it's such a small piece of material, it won't be enough. Well, the material wouldn't have been big enough for a big person, but it was plenty to make some clothes for a little person like me. So I helped Vanella make me a brand new suit of clothes. We had to work fast, but by the time the show began, we were ready! Woohoo! My job wasn't over yet. I needed to model the clothes too, so I set off along the catwalk. It was a great success! Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, you were brilliant, Small. Way! Helping to make clothes and model them. Oh, that must have been great fun. Oh. <laughs> Way! Hey, do you think I'd be good on the catwalk, Small? Oh, you'd be great, Ben. But I think you should stick to cooking. You're really brilliant at that. Now, we need to work out what to cook for Fenella, the fashion designer. Hmm. I know! Big 
Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. That's it, Small. I found it. Look. That's perfect, then. Fancy fashion biscuits. Brilliant for Fenella, the fashion designer. OK, you read out the ingredients, Small, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need an orange. Orange. Over to the fruit bowl. Got that, Small. Butter or cooking margarine. In the fridge. Here we go. Butter. Got it. Caster sugar. Caster sugar. Yep, got that. Plain flour. Plain flour. Here we are. Got the flour, Small. Icing sugar. Icing sugar. Yep. Food colourings. You can use natural colourings if you like. In your favourite colours. And a little hot water. I can get that from the kettle later. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. What's the hot water for, Small? Well, it says here it's for the icing decoration. Ooh, I don't know a lot about icing. Hmm. Hey, why don't you whiz off and find out how it's done and I'll get everything ready. Good idea, Ben. See you later. Hoo-hoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Well, hey, this is going to be lots of fun. The lady is going to decorate a cake. She's using coloured icing. Can you see what colour icing it is? It's yellow! Oh, now she's using red icing. And that's blue. Have you guessed what they are? That's called a piping bag. This time, the icing is pushed through the hole at the end to make a pattern. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle! It's three balloons! And that's the string attached to the balloons. Oh, look! That's a cutter. It's cutting the icing into a shape. There's lots of them. What do you think they are? They're flowers! Pretty pink and yellow flowers. What a beautiful cake. That was great. I can't wait to tell Ben. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> do I look cool? No. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Way! I'm back. That was brilliant, Ben. I saw a cake being decorated with different tools and I've brought back some ready coloured icing. Woohoo! There's blue, red, and yellow. Wow! Thanks, Small. Hey! <laughs> well, you seem to be the icing expert, so I'll tell you what, why don't you be the designer for Fenella's fancy fashion biscuits? That's a brilliant idea, Ben. I might not be able to wear fashion, but that doesn't stop me being a fashion designer. <laughs> We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to fancy fashion biscuits? You do? 
There was an orange, the grated rind of one, the inside you can eat later. Butter or cooking margarine. 125 grams cut into little pieces. Caster sugar. 50 grams. Plain flour. 175 grams. And for the icing, icing sugar. 200 grams. Food colourings. Any colour you like. Softened butter or cooking margarine. 100 grams. And a little hot water. A few drops. Whoopee! Let's get started! OK, the first thing we're going to do is turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark four. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Can I make a start on the designs, Ben? Not yet, Small. We need to make the biscuit mixture first. So, put the flour... ..in we go. The sugar... ..there it is. The butter or margarine... ..in it goes. And the orange rind into a bowl like this and give it a stir so that all the little pieces of butter are coated with the flour. Way! Do 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 So rub the butter into the flour and sugar gently using your fingertips until the mixture's all crumbly. Like this. What are you doing, Small? I've decided to make a start on the designs, Ben. Look! Hoo -hoo. Looking good, Small. But I'd better get on with the biscuit mixture. So, keep rubbing the butter in until the mixture starts to clump together to make a dough. Like this. Hoo -hoo -hoo. If it's still a bit crumbly, you can add a few drops of milk, but not too much. <laughs> I've shaped the dough mixture into a ball, ready to roll it out. There! Look, Ben, I've designed a jumper with red flowers on it. <laughs> wow, flower power! <laughs> you really are a good fashion designer, Small. So, I'm going to flower the board and the rolling pin, and then roll out the dough. It needs to be about one centimetre thick. Turn it round. And now I need some help from the fashion designer. Oh! <laughs> That's me! <laughs> I'll start with your jumper design, then. Here we go. You need to cut the cloth shapes out of the dough using a blunt table knife. Looking good! Hey, Ben, how about some trousers and some boots to go with the flower power jumper? <laughs> OK, boss. I think these boots are going to be difficult because they're a tricky shape. You're right, designer small. I need to be really careful cutting out these boots. These look brilliant now, so I'm going to carefully put them onto a greased baking tray. I've greased the baking tray so the biscuits don't stick. Perfect. Thank you, small. And now we need to pop them in the oven for 15 minutes. So. Oven gloves on, and over we go. There we go. Open the oven, and in they go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. And now I'm going to make some white icing. So I will pop in the butter, nice and soft. And I'm going to beat it with a wooden spoon until it goes all creamy. Then sift in the icing sugar. OK, Small, sifting now. Here we go. In it goes. Give it a good old Steady. shake. Steady! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Small. <laughs> That'll do. And then ask your grown-up helper to pour in the hot water. Just a few drops. Quick stir. Round we go. 
mixed in. And there we go. Icing. If you want to make the icing into different colours, you can add a few drops of food colouring. Or you could use ready-made icing pens or cake decorations. <laughs> Our biscuits are cooked and cooled now, so... I'm going to need your help, Designer Small. Well, for the jumper, I would like an arrangement of red flowers. Oh, very nice. <laughs> now, I've put the icing into this piping bag. I'm going to pipe on little dots of icing, like this, so that the flowers stick. There's one, and another... On goes the flower. You're getting really good at this, Ben. There we are, Small, the flowery dress. Marvellous! Small's designer collection. Fenella will love these. Well, let's see, shall we? Fancy fashion biscuits coming through! There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. <laughs> my name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes, Small. And it looks like Fenella enjoyed her fancy fashion biscuits. Look! She's left us a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My fancy fashion biscuits were delicious! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> to say thank you, I've been busy making a set of top fashion designer clothes for Small. From Fenella the fashion designer. <laughs> Look at these. These are fantastic, Small. Wow! Here you go. Brilliant! My very own outfit. Hey! So, Small, Fenella must have made your clothes earlier on her sewing machine. Wow! Look at me! Designer clothes in my size! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Come on, give us a twirl, Small! Woohoo! <laughs> right, let's go out and show off our brand new designer clothes. Come on, Small! Bye, everyone! See you soon! Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Cook for everyone! We'll cook for everyone!